Here's my M27 space case storage unit. And basically I started with uh, the iris box off Thingiverse, which is one on this end and one on that end. And of course, as you know from the iris boxes, you just twist them and they open. And I hollowed that one out more like the iris goggles so that I could put long items in this half of the storage unit. And this half, I went ahead and left that in so I could store small things like maybe peanut M&Ms or something. But um, I scaled them up a little bit larger than what's on Thingiverse. The uh, antenna was an afterthought. I 3D printed that, no supports. Of course, printed it in that, in that position. Uh, the body is printed in this position. And again, no supports. And I was totally surprised that I was able to print a 90 degree overhang with no supports. Sure, there's a little bit of a bugaboo there, but man, that's so minimal for sticking a full 90. Normally anything over 40 to 45 degree, you need supports. Nope, no supports on the doors, that hatch, any of that stuff. All worked great. It was all printed on the uh, Persa, which I keep bagged when I'm not using it to keep uh, dust and moisture from the house off the filament. And uh, the, the, the M... Uh, well, basically the whole thing was influenced by this book that I had when I was a kid. This book came out in 1963. And they kind of had a partial unit of this Moon Explorer on there. And then, of course, there was the actual toy, which was the M27 Moon Explorer, which I, I do have one out in the robot hut. It's just easier to show you this picture offline so you can see what I'm talking about. So I kind of used that as the basis for my design for this. and. And again, it all just started from uh, having seen those iris boxes on Thingiverse. And normally I don't print anything static. I normally only build mechanical things. But because the iris is mechanical and it prints as one piece, no assembly required. I mean, you take it right off the printer and bust it loose by wiggling it. And I found that pretty cool. Once I printed one, I went, well, what am I going to do with that now? So then I decided, well, if I printed another one in a body, I could make my own uh, Moon Explorer. So there you have it. It's my space case unit right there, 3D printed.